Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. This is Upstate Dancing Queen with your review. Uh, tonight we're going to review Jersey Shore Season 3, Episode 4. And this episode was more up and down than the damn roller coaster at Disney World. I know what this is all about. So you 21, you still need some schooling, youngin. I got memories. I got memories. She, in the beginning of the episode, is way too insecure at the club. Ronnie can't even talk to anybody of the opposite sex without her freaking out. Um, I just think she's she was a sloppy drunk. She got into an argument with Ronnie over the littlest things. And I think that he couldn't take it anymore, and that's why he dumped all her shit out. And he, like, really, I think he's been very patient with her, and he just couldn't take any more of her shit. Uh, yeah, so, throughout the argument, the big argument with Sammy and Ron, Sammy ends up punching Ron in the face, decks him, and he doesn't flinch, he doesn't even flinch, which I give him, you know, thumbs up to that. I mean, this guy didn't even move. But, um, you know... Of course, the instigator is Situation, who runs right back to Sammy and says, Oh, Ronnie's talking to J-Wow, or Ronnie's talking to Jenny. It's like, damn, you want to be the big instigator. So then Sammy gets pissed off. Pissed off. She punches Ron in the face, and here comes Situation. Oh, bro, that's all right, I got you. It's like you start the fight, and then you want to be the one to be nice at the end. And I'm really confused on Jay Wild too because she went up in a pop she used this fight, I think, to actually get her way in and sign an apology to Ron. It was the perfect opportunity. And I I'm really glad that they were squashing all this stuff. But it, it was kind of like you're sitting over here saying, Well, we we wrote that letter, um, so that Sammy would leave. But then you're telling Sammy, well, we was just looking out for you. We wanted you to know the truth. I have on my little thing. Um, yeah, Ronnie was heartbroken when that happened. But Sammy, so Sammy had this big fight, and she called her mom to come get her, and then she made up with Ron, and she had kind of an epiphany. And it was kind of like, wait a second, I'm wasting all my time being pissed off. Why aren't I just living my life and having fun? So um, in the end, I thought it was really cool that her and Jenny made up, and they're going to try to take it, you know, day by day. Her and Ron are going to try to take it day by day. But at Sunday dinner, Sammy, you know, she's like, well, I finally realized that, you know, you people are really cool. It took you three seasons to realize that. Come on, you're living with these people. I mean, what the frick? But for Sammy and the type of person that she is, I, 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 that's a thumbs up for Sammy because she's making big steps. Uh, Jay Well got it in with Roger. I really like Roger. But I find it interesting that Jay Well with Snooky and all these girls are like, well, I really never, I can't believe that I actually wanted sex with him already. I never liked this. Bullshit, okay? We all know how you are and how a bunch of other females out there are. Y'all sometimes get it in within the first night, the first couple of days. Big freaking Don't advertise it like that. Oh, I really don't do this. Bullshit. We know you do it. All right, you're not hiding it from anybody. Thought that was funny. It's all just. You know I'm in the front thing. Front thing. Two grand just to get a turn right. Turn right. Took it down to work fair. Put a pole in the crib just to let her work there. Work there. On the boss. That's probably me. Smush face. Smush face is getting shitted on. Um, Dia, she. Is being, there's a rumor, there's a rumor, <laughs> that is saying that Dina likes to toss salad. This guy, Dean, supposedly said that she likes to toss the salad. And, and I think the guys at the barbershop, you know how barbershop talk is where everything is kind of amped up. I think they really added some things there, but, you know, why are you going out with this guy? You know he's got a girl. Now, Sammy told you he had a girlfriend. So why are you going out with him again? You're grinding. They're, they're home market, you're grimy. 
And you know what? Dean doesn't care if you call him or not because he's got a girl. So move on and get some other juice in. He's not the one for you. Um, situation. Uh, let's talk about the groupies. It was funny. The groupie um, in question is actually a girl from my hometown. And um, I think that the camera is something else. Because she's not really that. She looked kind of more chubby on TV than she really does. But uh, I thought that was funny how, well, funny or sad, whatever way you want to take it, she got denied by Pauly D and they blew the grenade horde. Um, it was the first time that the grenade horde had made its appearance. And um, I think Pauly D, or Vinny, Vinny was the one to sound the whistle. Yeah, that's what it was. And Vinny took home uh, a nice little Italian girl by the name of Gina. And um, her uncles came through like the frickin' mafia and plucked her right out of there. And that was kind of uh, a downer for Vinny, but hey, you're not going to always get him. Um, yeah, so he blew the grenade horn and that was probably the... Yeah, he ditched a grenade. She was standing right there. And um, I, I'm really proud of you, Polly D, because usually Polly D goes to ugly chicks, and I'm really happy, especially this time, that you did not fall for the grenade. So, good job, Polly D. You get a thumbs up, too. And uh, I think that's it. So, yeah, it was an interesting episode, but by the looks of next week, Sammy and Ronnie's little honeymoon time is not going to last for long. It looks like they are going to be arguing again. And I did hear Ronnie call her, I think, a suck-up bitch or a selfish bitch. I'm surprised that they say bitch on television. I just don't know. That's weird. So, yeah. Anyways, leave your comments. Tell me what you think. Hey, I want to hear what you think about situation. Is he the biggest instigator in the house, or do you think it's Jay Wow or Snooki or somebody else? 